nation who are ready to stand in the gap and build up the wall for the unborn child. I have been a voice for the unborn child since the mid 90s and I don't plan on being silenced anytime soon. While we rejoice with the Supreme Court's ruling to overturn Roe v. Wade, I find myself completely baffled with the over 100 million people that have been so deceived and manipulated and brainwashed into thinking that abortion is a political matter. Abortion is not a political issue. It is a constitutional issue. According to our very own constitution and the law of this land, the taking of an innocent human life is absolutely against the law and requires a just consequence. With the technology that we have, we know without a shadow of a doubt when human life begins, and that is at conception. And it is our responsibility as law-abiding citizens to defend and protect that innocent life without bias or exception. No matter the surrounding situation, according to our Constitution, we have the God-given right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And it is the government's job to protect that right no matter what party you're affiliated with. When our government officials are sworn into office, they swear an oath to uphold the Constitution. And by not protecting all people, even the most vulnerable among us, they are failing and should be removed from office. It is now up to us, the people of this great nation, to unapologetically speak up for truth, speak up and speak out for the unborn child. So today, I want to encourage you to be strong and courageous and speak up and speak out for the unborn child. Thank you. God bless and God bless America.